We're only all just here momentarily. We're gonna make our journey someday, but we would like to leave some tracks for other people to follow. Today's gonna be awesome. Spirit of the sun is out there giving warmth, bringing everything back to life. And we're just part of that. We're part of bringing our nation back to life. Everything followed the Ampetuit Chabonia Wakan, the life giving force of the sun. It ties in with our culture, our ceremonies, our language, our songs. So we understand it. We're living, you know, two lives here. We live the, the Western culture as well as our own. We still have the Tioshbaye concept here family, extended family in that uh, community. Henry, what do you think your great great grandfather Red Cloud would say if he saw Pine Ridge today? Probably cry. I think he would he would cry. We have always been in in you know the de depression, you know, currently, you know, today on a reservation at some uh, today's stats are um, uh, eighty six percent unemployment today. Eighty six percent. Eighty six percent. So if there's a, a day that we have, you know, 10 percent unemployment, you know, people would be having a powwow and singing and dancing in the streets. So everybody's in survival mode, doing what they can and living with the land, not on, on the land, but living with the land. The average and Lakota, where I come from, lives on uh, $6,100 per year which um, isn't much. At the grassroots level, people would like a change. I believe that, you know, Pine Ridge is, is uh, we're headed for something really good. Uh, economically, uh, everything that we've been trying to do for the past 140 years, things are, are gonna happen. With the gifts that we have, we can become the people that our ancestors were. Once again, become in total you know, balance with the universe. And uh, this is just one of the ways. We were put in the area where it's so windy and the sun shines all the time. It gets so hot and here we have over 300 days of you know, sunlight you know, per year. And, and the wind blows all the time. So now it's been 140 years over time we have something. It's something that we're already embracing in a real deep sense, our language, culture, and all this. Now it comes back full circle. We have a commodity. We can do something. Hello, Kola. My name is Henry Redcloud. I live here on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, home of the Oglala Lakota. We're a manufacturing facility as well as renewable energy training facility. Working with the Great Northern Plains First Nations communities bring in jobs, much needed jobs, as well as uh, savings overall for grandma, auntie, the whole family. That's why we do home built systems and we make it more affordable. I have been doing renewables now for 15 years here on the West. Started out doing it just as, as a hobby, stumbled on the fact that, hey, this works. We've been doing since 2004, when we opened the doors to Lakota Solar, and then we opened the doors 2006 to Red Cloud Renewable Energy Center. Two different businesses, one's the manufacturing installation, the Lakota Solar, and the training center, Red Cloud Renewable Energy Center, is a training facility where Native students come to get the technical support that's much needed out there. We have been building this solar air heating system. We have taken a 1970s concept, implemented 21st you know, century material, and then twinked it Lakota style, and we came up with a money-saving, efficient air heater, which saves you know 30% of your heating cost over its lifespan of, you know, 20 plus years, so. It's something that we feel good about stimulating the economy where we can build our own economy. My hope, my dream, my vision is seeing First Nation communities becoming energy independent.
before mainstream America. Well, we need to stop what we're doing and start looking towards alternative than natural. Okay, thanks. Yeah, turn it down. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, yeah! Hey! Nice. You know, I'm just lost for words. You guys could probably tell that, but you all done really good this week. So, so impressed. I'm so happy for you guys. And the boys will offer you an honoring song. You don't take and take and take and take and take. And you don't consume and consume and consume. You take what you need and then you put back into the land. I believe it in my heart. This has to happen.